the problem when we learn a new skill, and it's the same way for habits, is we expect that our progress will be linear. We expect that the amount of time that we spend doing something, like let's say I expect the amount of time I, I play or I spend playing the guitar is directly going to relate to my results and how, how good I get at playing the guitar. And if I play the guitar for a week, then I'm going to get good in that week, right? And we expect to, to linearly increase the more we spend time doing something. But if you've ever learned a new skill, like a sport or an instrument, you know that that's not true. That's not how life works. In reality, it looks a lot more like this curve here, right? Where in the beginning, when you're doing a habit or when you're learning something new, you're going to be putting in a lot of time and effort and not seeing a big result, right? This is big, a big deal at the gym, right? You go to the gym. And people will go for maybe a week, two weeks, and they look in the mirror and they're like, where's my six pack abs, right? <laughs> and because they don't see those results yet, they quit. But with anyone that's um, done anything consistently, you know that if you consistently work at something, um, then eventually you're going to hit a breakthrough. And instead of growing linearly, you grow exponentially. You get really good at it really quickly, right? And this part feels great, but this part, we call it the valley of disappointment, is when you're putting in effort and you're trying to learn something, you're building your habits and you're not really seeing a result, right? You're building these habits and you're trying to do something new every day and change your life and be more outgoing or be spend more time studying. And it's just, you're not seeing those results yet, right? This is one of the biggest reasons why motivation will uh, run out because we don't see those results. And when we don't see those results, we feel like giving up. We feel like it isn't worth it, right? So it's important to really understand what this learning curve is going to be like so that when you're starting something new, you don't get discouraged with um, not seeing those results right away.